Have you ever been told that you should be putting content, especially on social media, you know, if you're trying to build an audience, but you go, what the heck, what kind of content should I be putting out there? Well, I'm going to help you with that today. Hey, this is Mark Nelson. I'm so glad you're here today. If you're listening to this on YouTube, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel. If you are listening to this on my podcast, do the same thing. Give me a review. I'd love it. I appreciate you big time. So what the heck kind of content content should you be putting out? There was actually four kinds, right? And the first one is value. They always talk about, well, put out value. And sometimes when you're brand new, that's really hard to do. I mean, I had a challenge with it because I just didn't know what value it was. Well, one, you have to know who your target market is and what pain points they're going through and what they're trying to learn. But when you're talking about value, Maybe you should be doing live videos, right? If you really want to build an audience, start doing live videos. Give them some checklists and then maybe some long form posts. And then, of course, your lead magnets, right? But you want to be teaching every day. So, again, when you're trying to build an audience, reach out, find what that audience is, and then go through and say, what's keeping them up at night? What's bothering them? What's not working for them? So if you're going after teachers, what's going on with teachers right now? One, it's been a really long year and a lot of teachers don't want to go back. So how can you share with them to relieve some of the pain or show them how they can possibly build their own side hustle or their own business? So again, the first, the very first form of content is value. And there's a lot of ways that you can find out what value is. If you know the pain points you're searching for, Google it, right? If somebody's trying to lose weight and they can't lose weight, Google what they're going through, what they're trying to do, and see how you can help them. That's the biggest thing. The next one is you want to start sharing. You know, the whole thing is trying to build rapport with your audience. So ask questions, right? And I want you to think about this. What do people like to talk about most? Seriously. Usually themselves. So get them to share about themselves, right? Ask questions. Ask them what wins they've had for the week. You ask them what their goals are. Ask them if they could do one thing, what could it be, right? You want to get people to be talking and sharing and, you know, just answering questions to you and actually leading a conversation. And I have some great conversation starters for you. And I'm actually going to put them into a, uh, a PDF for you down below. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> and I'll have that for you down below in the show notes where you can get those conversation starters. The third one. So we've talked about doing value, sharing, right? Get people to share, reach out, talk about themselves. The next one's pain. Right, and this is big because you know what challenges are people are going through. You know, you want to know where are you now? Ask them that. Where are you now? Where do they want to go? What do they want to be? And the biggest thing, what's holding them back? If they're anything like me, right? I, I looked at business for a long time. What held me back was the imposter syndrome. I just didn't think I had enough value, which was a bunch of bunk because I have a ton of value. It just was inside me. I didn't know how to get around it. And there's so many people the same way. So you want to go over their pain, what challenges are they going through. And it depends what you're talking about again. You know, it depends what your audience is. It depends what your business is all about. You know, how can you solve their challenges? That's what they want to know. So, so far, value. Get them to share. Talk about pain. And the last one is lead generation. And lead generation is really good. You can do Zoom meetings with people. I'd have testimonials, right? Have people going through your program or who know you write testimonials. Most friends will do that for you in a heartbeat. They'll just write a testimonial up for you. Um, you can have a question and answer period. And that's really cool. You know, just have a, a live Zoom or, or a Facebook Live and have people just reach out and ask you a question. And guess what? If you don't know what it is, you can always say, I don't know, but let me look that up or let me find out and I will get back to you. That's, that's really probably more 
to building relationships with anything is when you admit you don't know something, but you will solve it for them. And then have the clients tell the story or friends tell a story, right? So there's a lot of different things you'd be doing. But again, and I'm talking about this was specifically set up for groups. If you have a Facebook group, but it's for any social media, right? The content you want to be posting is the first ones you want to be producing value. And again, let me go through it. You can do lives, you can do checklists, you can do long form posts, you can do lead magnets, right? Give them value. The next one is sharing. You want people to share. So you want to ask questions because people want to talk about themselves. You know, what were their wins? What are their losses? What are their goals? Where do they see themselves in the next five years? And then the third one is pain. What challenges are they going through? What are they trying to solve? What's keeping them up at night? You know, what is really sitting back there that's holding them back? And then the last one is lead generation. So lead generation, again, you can do Zoom meetings with people, testimonials, question and answer, clients telling their story, you telling your story. But you want us to continue to build up lead generation. Hey, talking about lead generation, I I'd love to do that pretty good, didn't I? <laughs> I teach people how to create courses. I really do. And I have a great lead magnet. It is your ultimate guide to course creation. And you can get it at marknelsononline.com forward slash course creation. I'll put it in the notes. It's marknelsononline.com forward slash course creation. Hey, you all take care. We will talk to you again soon.